we've had some iconic Taylor Swift music videos. Blank Space. Just so good. Folklore has been out for one month. You guys are not going to believe this, but I have not yet watched the music video for Cardigan. I just didn't get around to it, and I have never in my life been able to say that I have waited a month to watch a newly released music video, especially a Taylor Swift one. I was honestly just preoccupied with the album and the whole album review. We're going to watch the music video for Cardigan, the official music video, and we're going to jump right into it. I lied. We're not going to jump right into it because I just want to say real quick, when I first initially heard the album, I loved the one so much that when I got to Cardigan, I was like, ooh, still, you know, the one is my favorite. But the Cardigan grew on me really fast and I think it was an awesome choice for a single. I'll just say that. Let's start. All songs, when you are young, they assume you know nothing. Okay, this is a weird, random observation, but I, some, weird I'm saying because I don't know how to explain it. Something about seeing Taylor's hands up close on the piano feels really intimate. And not in a weird, like, hand fetish type way. Just, we've seen her play the piano, I feel like, in other music videos, but something about this feels very intimate and maybe it's just because it is a building it's a like a home but it made me feel like warm and fuzzy inside what time is it on the clock 1 15 1 15 there are no coincidences with taylor swift that means something 1 15 means something oh <laughs> it's 1 3 13 wow okay Embarrassing. Oh, distracted. Do we think that Taylor Swift has ever been in a building like this? I mean, look how everything is kind of like dusty, grungy. Sometimes I just wonder, like, how much is she pulling from from personal experience and how much in her mind when she, maybe because of books or movies or whatever, like, this is what she thinks whenever she thinks of a kind of topic or a feeling. Why does she look so happy? But I felt like I was again under someone's bed. I'm not saying much, but all these thoughts are going through my head. I just don't know that they're worth saying out loud. Like in my head I'm thinking this feels so relaxing. She looks so happy. I love how she like the way her style like I love the styling of the video. I'm thinking all these like little random thoughts. I'm just not saying them out loud. I knew you at home all over my what is the smell of smoke would hang around this song. Yes, I knew everything when I was young. I knew I'd curse you for it. And you come back to me. Oh, well, that's a cute music video. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, my brain has so many theories like sloshing around in there that I, I feel like I'd have to write them down before I even try to break them down. But the song is clearly like about a relationship, but I almost see the music video reflecting her career. It started off just her alone at her piano, intimately writing these songs about her life. She stepped into the spotlight. It brought her to some amazing, beautiful places. She was experiencing all the great things that came with that. Then she continued to take chances, continued to progress, therefore again stepping into the piano because she did it before and it brought her to some incredible places, but she did it again and it brought her into chaos it brought her into the storm which duh we've all i mean we don't have to sit here and talk about that again like her career from 2016 and beyond has kind of been like whiplash it's been a lot of back and forth and people trying to bury her and cancel her and i feel like the music video kind of mimicked that and then you know she through all of that she clung on to her music like she always has and that brought her back to a place of comfort and safety 
but also we have the aspect of a relationship and I feel like it could kind of mirror that as well. In the beginning it's very intimate and just, you know, reflecting on the good times in this relationship. You get into the second verse where we change worlds and that's where the affair is introduced. It's still kind of reflecting on the good times, you know, I knew you playing hide and seek and give me, giving me your weekend. So it's like introducing the heartbreak weaved within the beauty of the relationship and then ultimately stepping back into the piano and getting to the storm, getting to the breakdown of the relationship, which at this time I'm not going to remember the lyrics, but you know, talking about the leaving like a father, running like water. Um, so the storm, the chaos, that's the breakdown of the relationship again steps back into the piano and she has the comfort of being in a good place in her life and looking back at maybe what ended in a heartbreak but looking at it with fond memories as well. You see where I'm going with this? I feel like there's a lot of different ways we can interpret the music video. It could be about the relationship, it could be about her career. Either way, I mean it's, we've had some iconic Taylor Swift music videos, Blank Space, just so good. The blank space was just so good. So I'm not going to say it's like 10 out of 10 the best of any Taylor Swift music video we've seen, but it made me feel at peace. I don't know if that is weird to say, but I, when I was watching it, I felt comforted and it felt very intimate. And I don't know why I keep like having this thought process. It really felt like I was sitting down in a room alone with Taylor, watching her do what she loves to do, watching her be at peace. Peace. That's the word. You know, that's the word we're going to go with, with folklore. I just feel a lot of peace within Taylor, with Taylor, with the music. I feel peace. That's my thoughts on the Cardigan music video. I'm sure I, I was thinking of like the broader big picture theme, so I'm sure I missed out on a lot of the little things. I'm going to go back and watch it, but yeah. What Taylor Swift doesn't do wrong, okay? So... You know, I'll see you guys in the next video.